if you want to truly secure your environment, you're going to have to establish what we call a security baseline. And in the U.S. government, that's called an ATO, or Authority to Operate, Authorization to Operate. So here, let's go through this diagram here and talk a little bit about what a security baseline is and how it can impact your organization. So here we let's start off with the person you're just sitting at your desk, whether at home or whether in the office, and you want to get to email. It's a simple service. So a security baseline really starts at the need for a service, a service that's delivered by information technology. So to do that, of course, we have the server established in our corporate office there with the email. And of course, we're going to travel over some sort of internet connection. Now, it's illustrated here as a cloud, but it could be any internet connection. could be local within your building, or it could be external from your home or remote site. This is where the cyber criminals kind of flourish. Right? They're sitting out there in these networks, hidden and waiting to find information and holes inside of the infrastructure. And so to secure this environment, we have to create what they call a security baseline. And it's made up of four primary components. The first one is hardware. So within the hardware, we have to secure properly that hardware, server, storage, network, things of that nature, firewalls. They all have to be secured and they all generate event logs. So we have to proactively watch those event logs. Then, of course, you have process and location. Process meaning things like, how do I get rid of an employee or hire a new employee? How does that impact their username and access to my network? All types of processes. How do those cameras work in the computer room? What are we watching to make sure the bad guy doesn't just walk in and change the IT uh, configurations? And then, of course, certainly last but not least, is software and how we apply software within the environment. And this includes not only, in this example, the email server, but it also includes things like um, the operating system. Maybe you're using a hypervisor, any of that software. So now we have painted on the screen here kind of that business need, business need down there where just Joe Snuffy needs email. That's the business need. And then we we highlighted today the transport, whether we go over an external or internal network, and the risk of cybercrime occurring in this environment. And then, of course, the business itself and the things that have to be locked down within the business, hardware, software, process, and secure of the location. All of these things are locked down and generate event logs. So see other videos on how we manage event logs from a security baseline, as well as what are these locks? Well, in the security world, they're called security controls. And a collection of these controls, as illustrated here, hardware, software, process, and location, those controls all make up what we call a security baseline. Remember, once we have the security baseline, we can monitor its success or its health in relationship to delivering services within our environment.